Think of a jury. What do you imagine? Perhaps 12 Angry Men, the famous movie from the 1950s, in which jurors deliberate in the pressure cooker of a locked room, shut away from the outside world. Of course, that film represents a different era. Jurors don't look like they did back then. We now understand that the jury should represent the whole community, not just a select part of it, and certainly not just white, middle-class men as we saw in that film. What has also changed is the ability to lock jurors away from the world, or at least the online one. Today, almost every juror will have a smartphone in their pocket. Unlike other changes which improve our system of law and justice, that change threatens it. Juries are supposed to fairly weigh up the evidence and then decide what the true facts of the case are. To do that, they can't have already made up their mind about a person's guilt, be influenced by gossip or irrelevant facts about the person. They also need to do so in the knowledge that their decision won't have personal repercussions from people outside the courtroom who might disagree or themselves be biased about the case. Jury members who send and receive communications to the outside world threaten those protections. This is Gemma. She's a legal researcher at the Tasmania Law Reform Institute. Over the last year, she's been working on the problem of internet-connected jurors and what to do about it. She reviewed the law, consulted the public and experts, and helped us draft recommendations to deal with the situation. In the end, the Institute accepted that it's just not feasible to stop jurors using their smart devices during trials. The world has changed since the 1950s. As a result, the Institute has recommended that the courts adapt their procedure to these changes rather than trying to fight them. Based on Gemma's work, the Institute has recommended courts provide introductory training to anyone who is called for jury service, even before they're actually selected to sit on a specific trial. Once a person is selected for trial, the Institute has set out recommendations for how the courts can improve, update and standardise the direction judges give juries about the risks from internet use and what jurors should do to self-regulate. If we can do that, we'll be able to continue our strong tradition of fair and unbiased trials long into the future.